Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Gretchen, from Gretchen's Vegan Bakery. It has been almost a month since I shared any chocolate recipes, so I am back today with a really quick video to get my chocolate fix in order. Wait until you see these fudgy s'mores brownies loaded up with marshmallow and graham crackers. Perfect for the end of summer and just in time for a really cool back to school treat for you and the kids. So easy to make and really delicious, if I don't mind saying so myself. So check out how to make them. You are going to need two separate recipes. First for the graham cracker base. It's just graham crackers, sugar, and vegan butter. I do have some vegan marshmallows. That will be the third amazing layer for this brownie bar. And I have Dandy's brand. I'll link to everything below. And sometimes I do have a hard time getting the minis, but if you can only get the jumbos, you could always just cut them up into smaller pieces. Now for the brownie batter, you will need vegan butter and sugar, flour, and there is some baking powder in here. I just combined them together. Cocoa powder, espresso powder, and salt. And for the egg replacer today, I'm using vegan egg by Follow Your Heart. Some of you may wonder why I don't just use the same egg replacer in my recipes to make it easier on everyone and myself. And while yes, that would be easier, it's not always optimal. Without going into all the detail here right now, really quickly, I created an online course that explains all about egg replacers and vegan baking. I break down more than eight egg replacers and explain how each one reacts differently in your recipes, since each one will react differently in your recipes. So you can now convert your favorite recipes to egg-free using the best egg replacer for the recipe you have at hand. If you are interested to learn more, just click the link below to see if this is something that you want to join in on. All right, now back to the recipe. So first to make the base for this brownie bar, and I'm combining the graham crackers with the sugar in a food processor. Then just add the melted vegan butter and process it all until it resembles wet sand. Press this firmly into the bottom of a greased and parchment lined standard loaf pan. And I just decided to use a loaf pan for this recipe, no reason really. And you can definitely use an 8 inch by 8 inch brownie pan if you prefer, but you will have to double all the ingredients listed. Just be sure to use the parchment paper hanging over the edge like I did here. It just makes it really easy to pop this thing out later. Okay, so once it is nicely packed in there, get it to the refrigerator while you prepare the brownie batter. Add the cold water to the vegan egg and whisk it smooth. Now get the vegan butter and the sugar into a medium sauce pot and melt it over a low heat, stirring it constantly and just be sure not to bring it to a boil. Just cook it until the sugar and the butter is melted. It's going to look kind of glossy as you whisk it all together. Remove it from the heat and then add the salt, the espresso powder, the cocoa powder, and then the vanilla extract and whisk it all smooth. Now add the vegan egg, whisk that smooth, add the sifted flour, and then just mix it until it's combined. Be careful not to over mix the brownie batter. You don't want to develop that gluten too much. Pour the batter over the graham cracker base and then bake it in a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 30 minutes. At 30 minutes, you're going to top it with the vegan marshmallows and then bake it for another five minutes. Cool it slightly while you make a quick ganache to go over the top. Simply by combining chocolate and soy milk in a small sauce pot and whisk it constantly over a low heat until it's all melty and smooth, you're going to now pour that over the marshmallows and then top with additional graham crackers if you want. But why wouldn't you? Let it all cool completely and the ganache will then set up as well and then you could just take it right out of the pan. Just work the paper off the edges and slip it off onto a cutting board and cut that bad boy up. Let me just tell you, well, I don't think I have to tell you anything. Just look at this. So fudgy and melty and marshmallowy. This s'mores fudge brownie is life. Imagine packing one of these in your kid's lunchbox the first day back to school. 
yeah, best mom ever. Just head on over to Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com to grab the written printable version. And while you're there, be sure to check out all the other great recipes I've been working on for you. And don't forget, if you want to know more about my egg replacers course, just click the link here and you can check it out. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy vegan baking. Bye for now.